Hello class, today I'm going to talk to you about two topics, skepticism and the Euthyphro question. Skeptics have came up with thoughts and ideas that have had even the brightest minds puzzled. René Descartes, a French philosopher, came up with two theories, the brain of that theory and the dream theory. Now the brain of that theory specifically states that somewhere deep in the universe, our brains are hooked up to a computer that control everything we sense throughout the day, from what we touch, see, smell, and hear. This is a very interesting thought, but unfortunately there's no proof to prove this. Um, we could never go deep into space and find our brain in fat. And even if we did, what could we possibly do with it? Um, it would also lead to more and more questions. Um, we would ask ourselves, who has these brains of bat? Where are these brains of bat? Why are they making these brains of bat? It would lead to more and more questions even after that, with dead ends. The second theory that Descartes came up with, the dream theory, states that our life right now is all just a dream. This is another theory that I've actually thought about before, before this class. Um, it's a very interesting theory. For all we know, it could be true, but there's no way to prove it. No one has woken up from a dream and come back and told us that we're all just living a dream. Just like people have died and come back and said they have been to heaven and they've seen God, I believe that that is substantial proof that heaven is real. But unfortunately, this hasn't happened with a dream. So, the second topic I'm going to talk to you about is the Euthyphro question. Is something morally correct because God commands it? Or does God command it because it's morally correct? God is all-knowing. He is the creator of the universe. He is the creator of earth. He's the creator of you and me. And he is the creator of morality, I believe. I think a good example for this is our parents. Once we are brought into the earth, they are the ones that show us what is right and wrong. I remember a specific example from my life. So my mom was sitting at the table, and I was sitting on the ground close to the wall. I was playing with my little action figure, and I look at him, and he's a small little guy, and I look to my left, and there's an outlet. And his hand is the perfect size to fit into that outlet. So I'm going to put my action figure in the outlet, just because I'm four year old, and I don't know any better. Just as I'm about to do that, my mom tells me, no, don't do that. And I believe that is how God is with morality. He is the one that tells us, do not do that, that is bad for you. And it is our choice to have to follow him and what he believes is morally correct. Another example for it is Adam and Eve. We all know the story of Adam and Eve, how they're the first people on earth. God told them not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They did, and original sin happened. So this, I believe, proves that God is the one who commands it, because he said to not eat from that specific tree. So. He could have said to eat from a bush. He could have said not to eat from a lake. But no, he chose that specific tree. So I believe that shows that God is the one that commands it. So in conclusion, don't worry about skepticism right now. Live your life to the fullest. It's all we have right now. And second, God is the one that created morality. He knows all and he created all. So he had to create morality.